so much. Well, that was incredible, Jason. Uh, even, uh, uh, even better than when you showed it to me a few months ago. <laughs> well, I took your advice. Well, well I just had to do it. He great notes. He did. Who gets to get notes from Michael Moore like, while you're editing your documentary? <laughs> Don't. Right. But believe me, I had absolutely nothing to do with this movie. Uh, he did this all on his own. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm so sincerely proud of you. Uh, both as an individual, as a friend, as a co-worker, uh, mostly as a fellow citizen of this country that we're trying to make a better place. So thank you, thank you Michael. Thank you so much. <laughs> Candidate who ran for mayor of a capital city, <laughs> Raul de Jesus. <laughs> The man who drove 16 hours to be here, he ran for city council in Memphis, Tennessee at 18 years old. George Monger, come on. I will not be 18 until late November, so I will not be able to vote this 
election or run, but I have been planning for a while to get into politics, maybe to choose an office. I think maybe start with me or we might be a good <laughs> I was wondering if for any advice. <laughs> Expect to lose. <laughs> it, it, it's this there, but also expect to win. Um, I think it's, it's something that has to be within you. Uh, it's not something that, um, that that is just you wake up and say, hey, I'm just going to run for mayor. Um, it's something you have to do some research on. You have to find out what are your weaknesses, what are your strengths, um, what support you think you're going to get if your family's behind you. Um, if you can get at least one more person to, to, to stand and, and have your views and can share your views and stuff, I think that you can do it. I mean, but it's something that um, I, I suggest if, if I was to do it again and start all over, you can be like you right now. Um, get involved in the campaigns. Get involved see the, in these presidential campaigns. Um, get, to see, get the feeling of it. And um, if you feel like you like it, you go ahead and pursue it. You may just meet that person that you may need to to give you that, that, that ticket into that, uh, to the politics. Every band contributed the music for a dollar. Nice. And there were, there were 15 independent rock bands that contributed music and have created like what I hope to be the next Heart and State soundtrack with a bunch of new independent music. Uh, one other quick thing I wanted to say is, you know, I, I was I really wanted to make this film a nonpartisan film, and I, and the reason I wore the sweatshirt this tonight is because I'm standing on the stage with Republicans who, and I'm standing with them in support of this because this film and this movement is a nonpartisan movement. It's not about left or right. It's about teenagers and young people knowing what's going on in their communities. And so, you know, I'm a liberal. Michael's a Republican. It doesn't matter. We're out there. We're trying to get people to vote. I, I, I just, um, I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, mean this. It is a, a privilege to share uh, this stage uh, with you. Um, uh, I hope you have felt the energy in this room from the beginning of this film of how much uh, support there is for what you're doing, how much hope we all have uh, for your generation. Uh, you know, we were the 60s generation. We were supposed to get it right. We got some things right. We got a lot of stuff not fixed, and, and we desperately need your involvement, your involvement, you young people, to be involved. As Jason said, regardless of whatever your political beliefs are, I, 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 would, I would rather see somebody, somebody standing up for what they believe in uh, than to sit back and do nothing. Um, so so uh, congratulations uh, to you for being the mayor of uh, Hillsdale, uh, Michigan. Uh, uh, it was so cool and uh, when we all read about that. And, uh, and, and thank you again. And, Jason Pollock, uh, please make more movies. <laughs> so, so, uh,